The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, David White. And welcome all to another excellent edition of the Power Trading Hour. And it doesn't matter where you're at in the world or off the world. I think we got some people in space. So they could be all kinds of places. And uh, yeah, they could start the uh, show off in one, one side of the globe and be on the other by the time it's over. So it doesn't really matter as long as they're here with us at this time. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. Well, I haven't heard anybody uh, that trades from space yet, but I'm sure, I'm sure if you can do it on your phone, maybe somebody's done it from up there. Uh, you can give me a call today at 877-927-6648. We come off one of the uh, most oversold markets on a short-term basis. What we're going to find out today is, is this a short covering rally or not? I've got the most shorted stocks in the market. I sent out a list uh, with uh, the particulars. We won't go through those on the air, but uh, we will go through the names so you can keep an eye on them. Uh, and that, uh, we were worried about uh, till about 245 or 250. Uh, on Friday, uh, uh, the possibility of an invasion of the Ukraine. We found out from a leaked uh, phone call that, uh, hey, even the uh, Ukrainian uh, president doesn't think it's coming. So that was kind of interesting. I, I was listening to a lot of people that thought it was imminent, still could be, because uh, tonight or tomorrow night actually is the new moon. So if they want to come in under the car uh, cover of darkness... Then I have uh, people telling me, well, uh, they would invade, but they've got to have frozen uh, tundra so the tanks just don't sink into the mud. And that seems kind of interesting. But you'd think they would have thought of that when they made the tank, make the tra treads wide enough that they wouldn't just sink in the mud. But uh, I do not know, but I do not trust the Putin. And... Uh, I do trust that the dude abides, but I do not trust in the Putin. 877-927-6648. So we're up 62 points. Uh, the real question is, are we going to have the kind of volume that really makes this worth it? And are people going to infer that the, uh, that the uh, earnings we had in the last week with Microsoft and Apple are going to uh, go into the rest of the market. I think a lot of people are getting are pricing in a lot more on uh, the earnings this week, and we do have uh, some interesting options. I mean, uh, earnings after the bell tonight. We've got a little bit of uh, uh, tech with uh, NXPI. About fifty percent of their a uh, business goes to uh, cars, automobiles, uh, transportation. Uh, that a lot of those were shut down in this quarter. It's going to give us a, kind of a read on just how bad was it. Kind of feel like Johnny Carson. How bad was it? It was so bad. Anyway, uh, Cirrus Logic also tonight uh, in the oil sector. We've got Helmrich and Payne. Seems like there should be a joke with that, but there is not. Now, tomorrow morning in the morning, before the bell, in the morning, that means uh, before 930 if you're in Lutz, uh, Untied Parcel Service, that's U UPS, uh, ExxonMobil, you got to think that's going to be good, Le uh, Linux International, maybe a little bit of uh, color on what's happening in housing, uh, Manpower Group, Pulte Homes, also another little bit of read on housing and what they're expecting. What they're seeing, I've seen the reports. Uh, we also have uh, Scott's Miracle Grow, 
Hey, you know, I haven't looked at that in an eternity. It was my pick if you were getting into the weed business. Uh, what does this thing look like now? Well, it came way off with the weed business. Uh, still the best probably weed stock that there is. It actually doesn't look very bad. But, uh, yeah, you'd really love to see a uh, retest of 133. But, man, it doesn't look like you're going to get it. You had a nice move higher on the 7th of December, a day that will live in infamy. Uh, well, actually, with about the same volume. If that's right, 500,000, yeah. Yeah, not as good as I thought. Okay, so what else do we have going on out here this week? Well, that's uh, tomorrow morning before the bell. After the bell, we've got PayPal, AMD, Google, uh, Starbucks, uh, Gilead, Electronic Arts, MicroStrategy, Match Group, if you're into Grinder, And uh, we know how just how much traders are into Grindr. Uh, anyway, that's after the bell tomorrow night. Um, Wednesday, we've got uh, D.H. Horton. So a little bit more color. Uh, in fact, uh, I think if we're uh, uh, drawing, uh, uh, filling in uh, between the lines, uh, what do they call that? The kids' books. Uh, fill in the blank, not fill in the blanks. Where you fill in the lines. Uh, anyway, waste management, uh, Marathon Petroleum, that's got to be good. Uh, Capri Holding, Shimana, Johnson Controls, a little bit more on what's going on in uh, automotive. After the bell on Wednesday night, we've got uh, Metamucil, uh, used to be known as Facebook, uh, Qualcomm. So we're going to get a little bit more on the phone business. Um, you know, I said uh, when we looked at uh, GL, uh, was it GLW, uh, it just really looked from those numbers that Apple was going to be good. It started off slow and then went back higher. Uh, Qualcomm probably, I don't know, it's, I'm going to bet that that's probably priced in from Apple's movement. Uh, Spotify technology, and yeah, we'll talk about that. Uh, got some emails. Uh, to Kulik and Safa, a little bit more on that. Align technology, the invisible braces. Uh, Corvo, another play for the uh, phone, uh, uh, cellular phone, uh, smartphone business. McKesson. Eh, so we got that. Uh, Thursday, Penn National Gaming, Nokia, uh, Merck, Eli, uh, Biogen. So uh, got a little bit of a murderer's row for biotech next Thursday. Uh, unless you really have an abiding belief like the dude, because the dude abides. Uh, then uh, you've got to be thinking about about uh, maybe exiting stage left before that hits the fan. Uh, after the bell on Thursday night, we've got Amazon Snap, uh, Pinterest, uh, Ford Motor, uh, Skyworks Solutions, so a little bit more in that cellular phone, smartphone business, Skechers. Yeah, I think everybody, that Skechers had been doing fairly well. Uh, Fortnite, Clorox, uh, Decker's brand. You know, got a little bit of tennis shoes this week. Uh, Friday morning, as we get back, uh, finish up the week, we got Bristol, Myers Squibb, Royal Caribbean, uh, Regeneron. So a little bit of, bit of bio late this week. We'll be back in a minute. Are you grinding in the market, but seeing little to no return? Or are you a successful trader, simply looking to make your job a little easier? Learn to take the path of least resistance with David White's powerful trading newsletter. David White is an accomplished trader whose deep understanding of technology and the markets allows him to consistently find and share winning trades. Support and resistance define the ranges in which stocks trade. By understanding these trading ranges, David White is able to find the path of least resistance. David White's trading newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, is delivered daily before the markets open to make every trading day an easy win. Visit TFNN.com today and subscribe to David White's Ultimate Trading Newsletter for $119 a month. And try all of our newsletters risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee. Take the path of least resistance at TFNN, educating investors.
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. As we get back, uh, first question out here is Boeing uh, from Ronald. And Boeing uh, got a big deal. Uh, out. Not a lot of volume out here, but uh, interesting nonetheless. Uh, they kind of leaked on Thursday, Friday that they've got a couple of new variants of the 787, which may better compete with the uh, low end of the uh, Airbus. So we'll see about that. But, man, you got to bounce. But uh, I would have liked to have seen maybe 25 million shares today. So you see how the end of that comes in today. But we shall see. Uh, let's do a little history and then we'll move on. And it's all just a little bit of history repeating. SBC announced on this day in 2005 it would purchase AT&T Corporation. Huh. I thought AT&T was a corporation of its own. For more than $16 billion, this completed maybe the longest and sordid tale of an old AT&T company after the breakup in 1984. SBC, one of the original Baby Bells, renamed itself AT&T after the merger, confusing nearly everyone in the world as to which company was really which anymore. And that is a question. I know somebody rebuilding a 100-year-old uh, yacht, wooden yacht, and has almost replaced every piece of wood in the boat. Is it the same boat? At what point does it not become the same boat? Eh, I think that's probably a question for uh, academic scholars. But, uh, eh, is it AT&T really AT&T? Don't know. On this day in 2005. More questions than answers, as always. Okay, uh, what else do we have? Oh, did I? I don't think I put anything in there. Yeah, did I? Let's see if I did, because I may have forgotten about it. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, I think I got to it. Most oversold since uh, 2016. Most highly shorted since 2016. So we probably were going to get a bounce. This leads me to the theme of today's very special show. All of them are special. This one's just a little bit more special. 
uh, and that is uh, what's going on with the short leaders out here. Uh, this is uh, all the stocks with more than five days uh, uh, to cover. That means whatever the average volume is in the last 30 days, it would take five days of that just to get the shorts out. Albertsons, uh, not exactly sure why you want to be short in uh, a grocery store. Doesn't seem like a fast kind of move. But, uh, eh, you're up a little bit, but only about uh, half the volume of Friday. When we look at other ones out here, AEO, American Eagles Outfitters, almost nothing on that. Uh, AG, which is uh, First Majestic Silver, a little bit of a bounce, about half the volume, maybe a little more than we had on Friday. Uh, if you're looking at this as some kind of reversal out there. So not a lot of people piling into that yet so far today. Uh, AKBA, which is a uh, Beca Therapeutics. Um, man, if you saw that today, you certainly wouldn't see it. Volume's about three-fourths, maybe. It looks like we might be able to match that volume from Friday. Amcor, about half the volume of Friday. Uh, ATUS, maybe a fourth of the volume of Friday. This is Altus, A-T-U-S. Look at this. Yeah, I mean, it's a nice one on a move, but is it an oversold uh, in that? You certainly would think that if everybody was short this thing, that you'd have a ton of volume today if this was just short covering out here or this was a short squeeze rally. You'd see a lot more in that. Uh, bed, bath, and below, a um, little bit of a pop out here. Again, uh, so far today, Got 7 million shares compared to the 14 million shares on Friday. Ben Franklin Resources. Up a little bit. Volume's pretty good, but I wouldn't say that the candle does much for today. Got a little doji in BC, uh, BGC Partners. And uh, da, 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 what is that? And it's just a doji out here on no volume. What do these guys do that those guys don't do? Let's take a quick look. Okay. Uh, brokerage and financial technology company in the United States. Uh, government bonds, corporate bonds, other debt instruments. Okay. I should probably know these folks, but I don't. Uh, BKR. This one challenged the top, did so on just a little bit lighter volume. Again, we got more energy coming this week. Nice reversal on this one. Uh, it did open kind of lower and close higher out here. Would like to see a lot more volume from that one before the end of the day. CLNY, which is Colony Financial, yeah, just going sideways on a day with about, uh, I'm going to say five-eighths the volume of Friday so far. CLR, eh, Continental Resources, just going sideways, about half the volume of Friday so far. Uh, CLVS, which is Clovis Oncology, a little tick higher. Uh, CRO on, on the Cron, uh, what is the actual name of this company? Cronus Group, okay. Uh, to, to. You got a nice move out here. Friday you had 2.8 million shares. Today you got 1.5. That could turn into something later in the day. Uh, Deutsche Bank. Um, certainly a huge move off the low. Kind of a state-sponsored bank. Probably best way to describe it. Decent volume on the day. 2.9 million shares compared to the 4.3 on Friday. DD, double D, uh, two, two, two. Eh, not much on this one. Uh, volume's been decreasing for a week. Uh, Data Dog. This one, I think a lot of people have been waiting for. It had kind of found a way of, of balancing out the lows out here, going sideways for about seven or eight days. You got to move higher today. 3.3 million shares so far compared to five. That could. Get a little bit better before the end of the day. Uh, Dish Networks, uh, I don't know how these guys ever uh, hang around, but uh, there's AMC and uh, others all having the same kind of problems. Not much uh, out here, about half the volume 
you had today, or you had on Friday. Dynavax Technologies, about a fourth of the volume they had on Friday. Uh, eight by eight, uh, about a fourth of the volume you had on Friday. So that doesn't look like much of a squeeze yet. Uh, certainly no volume involved to chase these folks out. AXA, equitable and nice move. But again, you had a big thrust uh, down on uh, 5 million, 5.2 million shares on Friday. Uh, you got about 1.9 million shares so far today. E X E L on this. Yeah, we're almost at time for the second. We'll be back. We'll go through as many of these as we can. Maybe we'll get through the whole list. But uh, I think we're starting to see a theme here. And that is the short uh, stocks are not seeing the big success so far. About half the volume on sellers that we had on Friday. Maybe a little less. Back. Are you having fun trading the markets, but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we are back. And uh, Excellus, which is a, a biotech company, they've got a couple of cancer drugs out, I think. Uh, again, are we seeing a big short squeeze out here? Normally, you get a squeeze, you get some volume. Uh, not getting much out here in most of these stocks. Uh, Excellus, E-X-E-L. 
Um, yeah, 2.4 million shares Friday. You got 763,000 today. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to continue thinking that uh, what we have here is the everybody piling back into the usual suspects like Apple, Microsoft, Facebook, and that kind of stuff, thinking that they're going to be the safe stocks going forward. But uh, kind of tough to to uh, bet on that. <laughs> Matterport uh, Digital Twins 3D data platform. Uh, can you look at the, oh, this new issue. Okay. Let's take a look at here. Um, I had uh, another question by one of my subscribers about companies like this, and there are just so many of them. And the question is, do these guys do something that no one else can do? Because uh, the underlying technology of all this stuff is just pieces and parts bought from uh, China and integrated in their technology. Everybody kind of does the same thing. I haven't seen uh, a, a great deal of these companies that differentiates themselves. Uh, these are these 3D companies that you see uh, people like uh, on CSI come in and set down their little tripod that kind of looks like a... Uh, surveyor's tripod and the thing spins around with lasers and measures the interior room and stuff like that uh and then they're able to recreate it and everybody i think everybody that's watched those shows has seen that kind of technology it's just that everybody does it everybody buys the same parts from the same people that make them in china yeah, is it more of a software-based thing? It is, but I think you have to know that business to know what's important in the software before you pick one of these companies. But I think there's three or four or five of these things out there over the last year that have IPO'd, and I just don't know what's the important part. This is where, if you're in the business, maybe you understand a lot better than I do. But uh, don't comment. Uh, hey, people still have Dish Network, still have Web TV. Hey. That's interesting. Matterport, uh, you're up today with about half the volume you had Friday. Uh, 21 million shares on Friday, a little better. 12.8 uh, million shares so far today. Let's go to some other one. Fold, Wash and Fold, Amicus Therapeutics. Um, actually, I like it, the, at least the light volume test of January 10th. Uh, to, 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 uh, yeah, 8.4 million, uh, no, yeah, $8.41 on 10.6 million shares. Got about 2 million shares from Friday when you went down and test that low. But you would have liked to have seen some volume come in today, just a million shares so far. So could you, could these just all be, uh, dead cat bounces? Well, I'd like to see some volume come in to actually make me think these are anything other than some uh, one-day wonders. But again, these are not the biggest stocks in the market. We'll look at those if we still have time today. 21st century, uh, 20, 20, yeah, 21st century Fox, um, about half the volume uh, of Friday. Friday had a big turnaround, 4 million shares. Uh, these guys, of course, are all on cable, uh, both their Fox News and other stuff. But I think they sold a lot of the stuff to Disney, didn't they? Anyway, I'm not a big fan of being on anything on cable. If I had to buy something, it would probably be Fox. They, they're the only people that have anybody watching them left on uh, cable news. Uh, you, know, you got maybe 15, 10, 15, 20% of the people watching CNN, MSNBC, uh, Weather Channel, all the other go-tos. There just aren't people watching cable news anymore, with the rare exception. And they're not, they don't have any more people than they had a year ago. But uh, certainly they're not uh, as bad off as CNN and MSNBC. CNN is for sale at about I think a fourth of the price that they were asking for it a year and a half ago. AT&T desperately wants to get rid of it and get out of it, which may tell, tell you a lot more future about what's going to go on in cable. Uh, you can't just have one or two channels holding everything up uh, for that uh, level of infrastructure. I think eventually it all goes digital, 
but then do you really need a cable company other than for internet? Uh, Geo, uh, not much of a bounce at all out here today. This one doesn't even get the dead cat bounce. Uh, to, to Generon, and you got a little move out here, but again, not a lot of volume. GIS, which is General Mills, opposed to Colonel Sanders. Uh, I want to see them go a mano a mano in a uh, octagon. Anyway, uh, General Mills, uh, yeah, you had a nice push higher. Uh, the um, Probably the one thing that I've noticed over the weekend was how much money are going into these cyclical companies that people think are going to be safe next year, like General Mills, Kellogg's, that kind of stuff. Go, go. This is one that uh, circle in the drain, as far as I can tell, uh, with Musk and his satellites being everywhere, but uh, hasn't quite uh, dropped down again. Monster short, so I'm not going to be chasing that one. Uh, HBI, which is Hibbit, isn't it? Haynes Brands, okay. Uh, t -t 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 so you had a lot of volume on the downside on Friday. You had 5.6 million shares. Today you're up on 2.8. So this isn't a giant turnaround on volume for most of these short stocks. Uh, pretty decent move out here on H&R Block. But again, maybe five-eighths of the volume so far had on Friday, not a blowout. HST, which is host uh, resorts, um, nice reversal candle. Uh, you had uh, 5.6 million shares uh, on Friday, Two point, uh, excuse me, 3.2 so far today. There didn't that much. Uh, kind of interesting to see at least one name that you instantly know on this list of massively shorted stocks, and that is IBM. Uh, not much going on in this one either. You had some decent volume on Friday of uh, five and a half million shares. You got three million today, but it's uh, not even going up, just kind of going sideways. International flavors and flavor, uh, fra yeah, fragrances um, had more volume than the previous low by about 500,000, eh, 300,000 shares on from the September 22nd low. Um, so 2.2 million shares on Friday, 1 million shares today. IMGN, Immunogen, another one of these biotech companies. Again, if you missed the first part of the show, just uh, how uh, much uh, that uh, biotech has waited this uh, weekend, or I mean the last couple of days, Thursday, Friday. So maybe a good trade is to go into these uh, through Wednesday or Wednesday night. Uh, but uh, eh, who knows on Thursday and Friday. Be back in a minute. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. 
Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. As we return, we're back into uh, stocks that have amazing levels of short uh, selling, mostly based on how many days to cover. Uh, that it would be uh, what's going on. And if everybody's just saying this is a short covering rally, eh, why aren't they covering these shorts? Anyway, Immunogen. Uh, bounce out here today. Yeah, Friday they had uh, 3.2 million shares. Today you got one so far. Again, these could pick up before the end of the day. But uh, does this look like a handful of stocks are getting all the love and these aren't changing much? Infinera, I N F N, the symbol on this one, a uh, nice reversal looking candle. Uh, you had uh, 2.8 million shares on Friday, got 1 million shares today. INO, Innovo Pharmaceuticals, uh, I'd say there's much in here. Iron Mountain, um, you know, this is one I probably should have stuck with. We talked about it last year. Um, it never really did anything for the short squeeze. This thing has been absolutely pounded. For years now, I'm not exactly sure the reason everybody thinks these people are going out of business, but uh, certainly uh, that way. Invesco Mortgage Capital up on light volume. Juniper Networks, uh, some very nice candles over the last couple of days. Again, um, 9.4 million shares on Friday. Got about 5.3 million shares. So uh, we're not starting off the week with a lot of volume in those. KPTA, TI, Cario uh, O'Farm Therapeutics. I uh, retested the previous high on three and a half million shares compared to the 1.6. So about double the volume back here on January 26th. Uh, Friday I had uh, 2.7 million shares today, 800,000. So I'm going to say that most of these bounces so far have been fairly wimpy. Uh, Kroger, another grocery store people shorting the living daylights out of. I do not understand this. Uh, these things move uh, like, uh, like uh, glaciers. And, you know, the only good thing you have today is this is back down into the December uh, 22nd low on light volume. But I don't know who shorts grocery stores. It just, I mean, unless you know that they were poisoning their companies, it could take you a thousand years to get your money back. But, uh, eh, not a lot of volume. Eh, three and a half million shares compared to the 10 million shares on Friday. This is kind of more of a uh, bottoming pattern than many of the others we've seen out there. Uh, L-T-H-M, uh, live it. Uh, yeah, 
We had a little uh, kind of doji out here on Friday at just under 2 million shares. Got 1 million shares today. Again, I'm going to have to see a lot of volume come in before the end of the day before I start feeling that this is a lot better move out here. Yeah, Macrit, not much to write home about. MPC, Marathon Petroleum, as we said on this one. I don't know why you short this one. This is, uh, you know, if, I, if uh, energy goes up, uh, if there's going to be a stock that does have a short squeeze on this, this one does look fairly good, other than the fact you only got about half the volume you had on Friday, and everything is uh, for sale these days. MTDR. Uh, Matador Resources, uh, at least holding the highs. Not a lot of volume as it goes sideways. If this thing gets going, uh, keep an eye on that one uh, with its short uh, levels. MTG, which is Magic Investments. If it makes a profit, it's uh, going to be magic. Um, again, on Friday, 1.7 million shares to the downside. Testing today, 900,000 shares so far upside. One of the ones that had been off the list for a while uh, had been McEwen Mining. It is back like a bad rash uh, with massive shorting in this thing and a low of 80 cents. The December 15th low had 4 million shares. Friday had 1.7. Today you got 1.1. Uh, not exactly sure what's going on here other than the fact that uh, 80 cent stock. People are continuing to uh, once again go after it uh, fairly heavily, and not exactly sure what they're thinking. Uh, to, to Nielsen, do we even need these guys anymore? Isn't it all automatic? I don't need a ratings or people that write down stuff in a book. It's all it's all on the web these days. Uh, 5.8 million shares on the downside. Uh, 2.75 uh, million shares so far on the upside today. Uh, new on communications, uh, that's out of here. Uh, NVTA, Invita Common Stock, eh, up on about half the volume of Friday. As I said, uh, we're getting here fairly late in the ball game uh, to be down this. Kind of makes me think of uh, the Bucks game where they were kind of. Yeah, almost got there, but uh, they took about one extra quarter off that they shouldn't have. Uh, New York Community Bank Corp. Um, you had eight million, uh, eight point two million shares on Friday, about six million shares. That maybe. Yeah, I don't like the volume on Friday, but uh, that one at least got some decent volume today on semiconductors nice pop here friday they had uh, almost 10 million shares today about 6.2 million shares um nice place to actually buy it one of the few stocks out here uh, that had a fairly good gap that got retested 23 million share gap tested on 10 million shares that one actually looks a little bit better than most opk OP, uh, PKO, uh, yeah, little bounce on this one. Uh, 6.4 million shares on Friday, 3.5 million shares today. Well, I think we've gone through enough of these. Do I have to go through the rest? Probably not. Um, SGMO, which we've been talking about in the den for a while. Um, but uh, this doesn't seem to be getting going. Uh, worst thing is things going sideways. If uh, we do find some kind of low in biotech, uh, this one is massively shorted. Uh, 500,000 shares today, but 1.1 million shares on Friday. Again, like I said, uh, is there really much going on out here? Nah, not a whole lot. Let's take a look at Z, which is Zillow. Uh, which may be trying to make some kind of low. Uh, finally, this thing, uh, well, it's got a 50% off, off sale hang on, sign hanging on it, um, but you're back up. But this man, talk about taking a very quick beating. Um, yeah, may find a low here. Uh, we'll be back. We'll look at some of the uh, usual suspects before we wrap up the show. Doesn't look like a big short squeeze move today in at least the most highly shorted stock. 
we'll go back to the uh, usual suspects. Yeah. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. Do you want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN. Also, a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Back, uh, let's go back and look at some of the usual suspects. Uh, the index is going higher, but of course, that's because everybody's plowing in to the stocks that have uh, amazingly uh, a bigger effect on the indexes. What you don't have is the kind of volume. Friday, Apple, 180 million shares today, 71 million shares, a little bit higher, but uh, certainly. Uh, you want to see kind of a decent amount of volume in these as they uh, follow up in the coming days. Microsoft, uh, these were all the companies that I thought were probably going to do well. That was last week. This week, uh, we have a much bigger problem, I suspect. Uh, these are companies that uh, close their books later. Uh, they're also companies that probably are more sensitive uh, to shipping issues, uh, the dock issues around uh, – uh, the Long Beach and uh, uh, issues of supply chains. Microsoft, not really a big problem with supply chains ever, although they do make some hardware. Apple, a bigger deal, but they've got all these things all lined up 
far in advance. Everything's pretty much built in Asia. And almost everything, as we talked about going into Christmas, uh, could be thrown on a 747. And uh, I even saw an argument over the weekend that they made more money instead of shipping them uh, on, in a, via a ship that uh, putting them on a 747 and selling them instantly actually made their money turnover look better, which some people may be thinking of. But, uh, yeah, if, uh, you know, 10 bucks is that such a big price to pay on a $1,500 smartphone? I don't think many people, including uh, Apple or the customer, would understand the difference in the 10 bucks or care um, that much. But... Uh, Interestingly enough, Microsoft up. Uh, certainly a lot of volume on Friday. We have 50 million shares up on 28 million so far. Watch that volume as you come into the end of the day. So when you can, not when you have to. We'll see you here tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. <laughs>